Camp, the football team. Game time will start in a couple of minutes as we're going to do the anthem first and then the coin toss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join Airshow Regional High School as we honor and salute America. Our flag is located beyond the north end zone as well as by the scoreboard. We ask all veterans and first responders to stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service to this great nation. Now we ask everyone to please stand, remove your caps, and welcome the Air Show Regional Marching Band. Airstream Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Michael Powderly, Director of Music here at Airstream Regional High School, and drum major senior Malia Marinez and junior Teddy McDonald. Now the point toss. Grind like that to shine like this in a matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon cuz like the Blue Rock Blue Devils. Number 77, Dylan Monette. Number 74, John Bazaar. Number 32, Calvin Tenney. Please for them tricks, squeeze them, get cream. Never let them get in between the what we started. Look, but I'm lying hearted. They love me when I'm number eight, Colby Patterson. And for your ear show, Panthers. Number one, Brian Holmes. Number eight, Cam Marshall. Number ten, Ryan Marshall. Number 16, Caleb McGinn. Number 18, Jackson Reed. to start tonight's ball game. Again, your head coach for Murdoch, Jim Tanzi, assistant coaches Bob Pocari, Steve Pesh, Mike Barrero, and John Conley. And for your Air Shirley Panthers, head coach Billy Wright, assistant coaches Steve Watton, Mac Hamlin, and Nick Taylor. Also on the staff here at Yeshua Regional High School, athletic trainer Nate Diffin, athletic director Steve Kendall, principal Mr. Spencer Christie, assistant principal Dr. Miriam Meyer, assistant superintendent Mr. Charles Caleri, and superintendent Dr. Adam Renda. Tonight's concession stand is sponsored by the class of the sophomore class of 2025, Ms. Capasso, class advisor. And also I'd like to have a shout out to and a big thank you to Mrs. Claus for her great generosity at the, at the concession stand. Monarch set the kickoff. Coach 
Cole Tassin's kick is returned up over the 50-yard line. Panthers will have first and 10. Panthers first and 10 from midfield at the 50 yard line to start tonight's ball game. And right away it's given to James Gauntlet and Gauntlet takes it to the 40 yard line. Stopped at the 41 yard line, so it'll be second down and one. On second and one. Draw a hand off, defender well by Murdoch. No gain on the play, it'll be third down and one. to the right side, and Holmes taken out of bounds on the play, and number 28, Jordan Paris. Inside the 10. Flag on the play. False start against the Panthers. Five yard penalty replay. First down. Marshall the ball carrier. And the tackle number 42, Stephen Garthia. Second and goal from the 10 yard line. the ball carrier and taken out of bounds. Out of bounds. 
Defending ball on the edge by Murdoch. So bring up third down and goal. Third and goal from the six yard line. Going on the bounce, stops the clock with 9.03 left, first quarter, no score. Third and goal. Can marshal the ball carrier. Alice Rodriguez, number 64 on the tackle. So we got fourth down and goal from the four yard line. for the touchback. So we first down and 10 for Murdoch from their own 20 yard line. Now a message from the Masters of Interscholastic Athletic Association, otherwise known as the MIAA. The MIAA requires officials to reinforce all rules regarding unsportsmanlike conduct by coaches and players. There will be no tolerance for negative statements or actions between opposing players, especially trash talking, taunting, or baiting of opponents. More after the play. <laughs> Jarvis Williams, the ball carrier. For a big game on the right side. If such comments are heard, then the penalty will be assessed immediately. You've been instructed not to issue warnings during the contest. It's strongly suggested that you remind your participants of this policy. Fans let the players play, coaches coach, and officials officiate. Thank you for your attention to this matter, MIAA. And on the left side, Cole Patterson, the good run. Gain of five on the play. But I'll be spotted just over the 35 at the 36 yard line. Second down, five. Jay Williams, the ball carrier. It'll be third down and one. Murdoch has to get to the 41 yard line. Quick set by Murdoch and defended well by the Panthers. The defensive line holding. Very good on that tackle. And the key players in there on the tackle, number 24, Robbie Weeks. Again, the middle was plugged up. Second effort, getting a few yards on first down. So it'll be second down and eight after a pickup of two. The push to the outside. Calvin Tenney, and Tenney taken out of bounds. Marshall on the tackle, but there is a penalty on the play, holding against the offense. Tenney out penalty from the spot of the foul, replay, second down. Everybody? 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 
Second down, 20. Pass is complete. Making the reception, number 11, Jay Williams. Third down, 11. Ball spot at the 43-yard line. And flag. Dead ball foul, foul start against Murdoch. Five-yard penalty, replay, third down. Halfback option. And it's picked off. <laughs> Making the interception, number 20, James Gauntlet. First and 10 Panthers from their 31 yard line. <laughs> Brian Holmes to the left side. He could go all the way. And he will go all the way. For the touchdown. Holmes. Touchdown coming, 4.52 left, first quarter. 6 nothing Panthers. Jack Thomas in to kick the extra point. Nice snap and it's blocked. Score remains 6 nothing Panthers. Tonight's game can be seen on Channel 8 of the Air Public Access Corporation. Special thanks to all from APAC who are here tonight to film the game. Thank you very much. Brian Holmes set the kick off from his 40 yard line. Kick field at the 18 yard line. Jay Williams on the kickoff return. Brings it up over the 35 to the 37, 38 yard line. I'd like to recognize a 1970 class here from here High School. So members of the football team are here tonight. Dana Owens, Jim Barclay. Bill Blodgett, Thomas Jarka, Donna Kidder Naismith, William Henry, Stan Yorga, Linda Properly Mafio, Mafio, excuse me, Skip Properly, James Catrale, John Brennan, and Robert Laramore. Let's hear it for the class of 1970 here tonight 
at the football game. Earlier they were here at the school taking a tour and had a nice dinner down at the Majova restaurant. So give them a round of applause, folks. Game of six on four, second down four. Out to the outside. So going and all the way down, Calvin Tenney inside the 30 yard line. First and 10, Blue Devils. Now taken the field by Coach Wright and the Panthers. Ashley Lutheran High School drama is back on stage at the three long years. Come enjoy an extra weekend of a spooky season at the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, a creepy comedy based on the famous story of the Hellas Horseman. November 4th and 5th at 7.30 p.m. and November 6th at 2 p.m. in the ASRHS Auditorium. General admission tickets are $10 and student tickets are $5. Thank you, Ms. Vigley. Jay Williams, the ball carrier to the right side, still on his feet, and finally taken down by a host of tacklers. Let's see where that mark is forward progress. taken by Murdoch and Coach Tansy with 346 left, Panthers up 6-0. Fans are reminded about the 24th annual Veterans Day breakfast here, sponsored by the Air Shirley Regional High School Massachusetts Army National Guard Leadership Education Program. What ends up happening this Tuesday, November 1st, from 720 to 825, at the high school. After that, veterans will visit classrooms in groups of two or three from 8.30 to 9 o'clock, followed by the Veterans Day Assembly. This is the 24th Annual Veterans Day Program. So come out and support your veterans. Thank you for all you do and continue to do. Thank you. Oh On second down, Second down, second down and three. 
Ball spread on the 20 yard line of the Panthers. Defended well by the Panthers. And it's going to bring up third down and a long three, call it four. Third down, initially stopped, but great effort by Calvin Tenney, number 32, the ball carrier, to pick up the first down for Murdoch. First and 10, Murdoch at the air shortly 15 yard line. And they give us again to Tenney. And mark him down at the 10 yard line. Pick up a five, be second down five. Second and five, and the 10, it's gonna be Jay Williams keeping it, and he did not get in. Official standing at the one yard line. They did pick up the first down. They didn't have to score to get the first. They had to get to the five, and they got beyond the five by four yards, so it's at the one yard line, first and goal. Blue Devils. And untouched goes Jay Williams for the touchdown. Tie score with a minute 39 left in the first. passing in to kick the extra point. High snap, nice adjustment, the kick is up, and it's off the uprights, and no good. So the score remains, six off. We have a great facility here. We'd like to thank the Township of Aaron Shore for their support for this project. And to the result in this beautiful state-of-the-art facility that is being used by not only our student athletes, but also the band. The physical education classes of both Aaron Shore Regional High School and Page Hilltop Elementary School, and the community as a whole. Aaron Shore Youth Football uses this facility as well for their games. Thank you to our sponsors, the Norton Family Foundation, Main Street Bank, with the scoreboard of Catania Oils, scoreboard and ticket booth, the Bresenham family, Paul Bresenham Press Box, the Dolan family, David and Diane Dolan Concession Stand. More after this. Scoop kick, fielded by the Panthers, good field position. Jack Thomas fielding the ground ball there. Continue on here, the Town of Air Community Pre Preservation Fund, the Perlock family for the irrigation system for the baseball, softball, and grass soccer fields. Also, a big thank you to the fundraising committee, 
the field committee, the school committee, Dr. Renda, Mr. Caleri, Mr. Kendall, Mr. Christie, Dr. Meyer, former superintendent, Dr. Malone, Mr. Briggs, Michelle Granger, Jonathan DeForge, Kevin Bosenhan, Dan Gleason, MJ Cataldo, Incorporated Construction Dynamics for their efforts. And on the play is Holmes reversing direction and picking up the first down. Great play by Brian. First and ten Panthers for the Murdoch 40 yard line. Holmes throws and it's incomplete. Pass intended for number eight, Cam Marshall. And last but not least, thank you to all the staff and students for their patience as this project was completed. A couple of reminders, please stay off the track during the games and please use the trash receptacles. There are many trash receptacles along the border here, so please use them and help out the custodial staff if you can, please. Thank you. No dogs allowed in the school property. Restrooms are located in the concession stand. And thank you to our ticket staff, Devondre Kim Porter, Rich Kendall and Sarah Ernst, along with our custodial crew, for always keeping on top of things. And a great play by the defense of Murdoch, leading the charge number 74, Aiden Trent. Excuse me, John Biznarek. Third down and ten. And a big sack in the backfield. Luis Serrano on the tackle and a big sack for Murdoch, number 68. A couple of plays ago, that was number 74, John Benasek for Murdoch. So that'll bring up a fourth down and 14. And that's the end of the quarter with the score of 6 6. Panthers will punt for fourth and 14. Nice punt by Robbie Weeks, and it's fielded. Coming back, Cole Patterson on the punt return. Brings up over the 35 to the 37 yard line. First and 10, Murdoch.
first and ten, Murdoch from the 36. Williams, the ball carrier. Taken down close to the 45 yard line. Great gain on first down by Williams. So it'll be second down and one after pickup of nine on first. Bobby Spar at the 40 yard line. The 45. Low snap, nice adjustment made, and taken down immediately coming through the line. Jack Janot, number 51, the tackler is in there. The credit moved up with the first down, so it'll be first and 10. Ball spot up over the 45 to the 46 yard line. Again, a low snap, nice adjustment made by number 11, Jay Williams, and Williams takes out of bounds. And Holmes on the tackle. They'll mark him out over midfield at the Air Shirley 46 yard line. <laughs> Dead ball foul. Five yard penalty. Replay the down. And so the second and two will be second down and seven. Ball in the 49 of the Blue Devils. And a quick count and a quick tackle by the Panthers. Tony's forward progress will be marked at midfield. So it'll be a gain of one, it'll still be third down. Third down and long, third and six. Flag on the play. Let's see where the play ends up. On the far sideline. Illegal block, spot foul, so it's third down and long, third and 15. Third and 15 from the 41 of Murdoch. The throw is complete to Jay Williams, but tackled immediately. Bobby Weeks on the tackle. Gain in the play will be fourth and 15 from the 42. And Murak is forced to punt. Cole Patterson standing at his 30 yard line and a flag on the play. Oh, 
Offsides against the Panthers. Lining up in the neutral zone. Fourth down and nine. Harrison standing at his 35. Nice kick by Patterson. And he's going to take an air surely bounce. And finally stopped and picked up and down by Calvin Tenney, number 32, of the great air surely goal. As a matter of the great halftime show we have coming for you, we'll be recognizing the band members who are seniors this year. So we're recognizing them after they perform on the field for us. And I also have a halftime guest, Desiree Figley, who's in charge of the drama program here at Airshore Region High School. Marshall to the right side. And lunges forward to about the 44 yard line. Second down and one. The great gain on nine from first down. And it's Holmes going through the middle. Has the first down and Moore still driving to the far sideline, taking out of bounds over midfield at the 48 yard line. First and 10 Panthers from the Murdoch 48 yard line. 8.20 left, first half. Marshall puts the ball in his other hand and taken down out of bounds. And a flag comes out. Steve Garfield on the tackle. Call late hit on Murdoch. 15 yard penalty added on to the play. First and 10, Panthers. First and 10 Panthers from the Murdoch 22 yard line. Marshall to the right side, cuts inside, follows his blocks. And taken down inside the 10 yard line at the eight yard line. Great blocking by the offensive line. Second down and one after a nine yard gain on first down. Holmes keeps it and a flag on the play. Holding in Zia Shirley. Spot foul, 10 yard penalty, replay, second down. Replay. Why are they all 
Frank. Second down and 12. Second 12 from the 18, and it's Cam Marshall. One run forward and taken down at the 11 yard line. Third down and four from the 11 yard line. Tom Holmes still on his feet. Finally taken down in the play. Number 32, Calvin Tenney. Taken on the field by Coach Wright. And now Mr. Kendall, Athletic Director, will make a few announcements here about the athletic programs here at Yoshua Region High School. Mr. Kendall. First, we want to congratulate our golf team, which finished eighth in the state this week. Led by Sohil Patel, Mark McDonald, Tommy Bergen, Seth Valier, Adi Patel, Jason Turner, and Reed Ohanashian. Uh, the Panthers finished eighth, second year in a row. They qualified for the state tournament, first two times in school history that's happened. Congratulations to Volleyball, which won its final two matches of the season, defeating Keith Tech and Bartlett. Congrats to girls and boys soccer on successful seasons. Our JV boys soccer team finished with a 11-1-1 record. <coughs> Cross-country news, the team will be competing at the state championships in a couple weeks. In middle school action, Jake Leone won the Central Mass Middle School Cross Country Championship on Thursday, while Jack Holden was third. On the girls' side, Jane Marshall was seventh, while Devin Perlack was 14th. Middle school boys and girls soccer host Clinton here at Harold G. Norton Field Tuesday at 3.30 and 5. And finally, Unified Basketball hosts North Middlesex Thursday at 3.30 here. Come support the Panthers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kendall. And congratulations to all the coaches out there, too, who spend a lot of time with their athletes, helping them out and coaching them up. Thank you very much. Shovel pass. And there's a fumble that we'll call it a fumble. Murdoch will take over. First and 10, Murdoch from their 18 yard line. 525 left, second quarter, score 6 6. Williams the ball carrier and a great block from his fullback. The Blue Devils move the chains to be first and ten. 
It'll be first and 10 from their 31 yard line. Again, a quick handoff and a huge run by Stephen Gothier. Both hands on the ball coming through the middle. Final and first down, so it'll be second down and five from the 36. And again, they'll dial it up again, going through the inside. And got the first down, and more was Calvin Tenney. Uh, the Blue Devils, first and 10, Murdoch, close to the 44-yard line. And a great play in the backfield. Great play by Johnny Anacone for the Panthers. Drop for a loss of two yards. He's second down, 12. by number 50, Jack Chenault, number 66, Julian Kale. After a two-yard gain, so bring up third down, uh, actually a three-yard gain, so third down and nine. Run to the outside. And that was Patterson, Cole Patterson. That's going to bring up fourth down. And there's a flag on the play. It's going to be on sports my comic on someone. Let's see who they call it on. And sports my conduct against Murdoch. The penalty will back up Murdoch to the 37 yard line with 231 left for his half. Good punt, and it takes a Blue Devil bounce and roll, and it goes down inside the 25-yard line, but let's stop it at the 21. So again, congratulations to the 1970 Air High School football team. Who's in attendance here tonight? Dana Owens, Jim Barclay, Bill Blotchett, Tom Jocka, Tom Killer Naismith, William Henry, San Yerga, Linda Properly Maffeo, Skip Properly, James Cotrali, John Brennan, and Robert Laramore. These other folks, including them, were here at the high school today earlier, taking a tour of the new facility. So thank you very much, 1970 Panthers. And on the screen pass, it's to Marshall. And Marshall's taken down from behind on a great tackle by number 11, Jay Williams. But it'll be enough for the first down. 
And it'll be marked at the 31 yard line. First and 10 Panthers with a minute 42 left in the second quarter. Marshall, looking for an open flag, comes out and moves forward. Tackle being made by number 74, John Benarsic. I'll bring up a first down and 20 from the Air Shirley 21 yard line. Holmes pulls it down and runs it to the sideline. <laughs> Taking out of bounds was Calvin Kenny, number 32, from Murdoch. Stops the clock with 52 seconds left in the first half. Second down, 16 from the 24. Great protection for Holmes. And he throws it. And it's complete. Oh, it's dropped. Incomplete pass. Forty seconds left. Then start by the concession stand, class of 2025, Ms. Capasso, class of Iser. They get chili until it's out. Chavez quesadillas, hot dogs and other goodies along with the ramen noodles. So stop by there and support the class of 2025, Ms. Capasso. And we'd like to also thank Mrs. Claus for her generosity to the class of 2025. Thank you, Mrs. Claus. And penetration in the backfield, number 74, John Benazic with the big tackle. One of the captains for Murdoch. 10 on the field taken by Murdoch and Coach Jim Tansey. Arrow point. Jack Thomas's kick will roll inside the 50-yard line. 
down by John Iacone. So it'll be first and 10 with 20 seconds left for Murdoch at the 49 yard line. Again, if fans remind about a great halftime show, the Panther Marching Band will be performing. And then after that, we'll be recognizing five seniors from the band. And if the parents, guardians, family members could uh, assemble down towards the track, once they get out there, that'd be helpful. Thank you very much. Back to pass, Sebastian Guinan. And Sebastian's pass incomplete. Fans will also remind at the end of the game tonight, we'll be recognizing the 15 seniors from the football team. So stick around for that. Sixteen seconds left. Guillaume runs to the left, flag down, and the pass is complete to his receiver, Cole Patterson. But let's see what the flag is. It's a holding call against the Blue Devils. Turn out penalty from the spot of the foul. And they'll replay the down injured player on the field. Your player is Cole Patterson. <laughs> and that's in the first half of the score of 6 6 between the Murdoch Blue Devils and the Ashley Panthers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome now the Air Shirley Marching Band with their show titled Defining a Champion, featuring the music of the Beatles, Queen, and Lady Gaga. Directed by Mr. Powley, show designed by Adam Stock, Jamie Fortier, and Mike Linehan. Drum majors Maria Marinez, Teddy McDonald, and the Marching Band seniors Ava Sharif, Maggie Serator, Malia Marinez, Angelo Mavilia and Jameson Carroll. Give them a round of applause as they enter the field.
Again, he is showing marching band under the, the direction of Mr. Michael Powderly. Come Together by the Beatles, directed by Teddy McDonald, one of the, the drum majors. And now Maria Mariners, the other drum major, will be conducting. Ah. 
What do you think is going to happen in the second half? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malia, and Teddy, and the rest of the band for all your work. Here tonight, that was Marching Band Show Tell Defining a Champion, featuring the music of the Beatles, Queen, and Lady Gaga.
as the band exits the stadium. The field would like to bring up the five seniors from the band who will be recognized tonight. First off, Malia Marinez. Malia has been part of the school's many extracurricular programs, including the music department since freshman year and began marching band in the eighth grade. She would like to thank her mother, sister, friends, and family for all their support and encouragement in her endeavors, as well as Mr. Powderly and the band for rolling with her craziness these past two years. It's been, a, it's been her honor and privilege to lead everyone in this band. Always remember to keep your eyes with pride. Malia Marinez. Next, Angelo Mavilia. Angelo has been a part of the marching band, concert band, and scrim team since his freshman year. He would like to thank his friends and family for always supporting him throughout his high school career. He would also like to extend special thanks to his brother Anthony and his dog Darth Vader for being their best siblings he could wish for. Angelo Mavilia. Jameson Carroll. Jameson has been playing percussion for nine years as a member of both concert and marching band. He plans to major in filmmaking with the goal of writing and directing films professionally. I'd like to thank his mom and dad for being supportive of his goals and his brother, Jameson Carroll. Maggie Ciceratore. Maggie Ciceratore plays flute in the marching band and concert band, sings in the choir, and is part of the ensemble in the fall play, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which you'll hear about later on here tonight. She'd also like to thank her parents, Jen and Justin, and all her friends for getting her through so many long rehearsals and school days to where she is now. Thank you, Maggie Serratore. Ava Sheriff. Ava Sheriff has been a member of the marching band since eighth grade and a part of the music department since her freshman year. She'd like to thank her parents and sister, along with the rest of her family, for her support and her endeavors. She has loved every second of the marching band and would also like to thank Mr. Powderly and the rest of the band for the past five years, Ava Sheriff. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the five seniors for tonight, recognized by Mr. Powderly and Mr. Kendall with the flowers. And special thanks to Mr. Selfwood too for taking the, the pictures on the track. Thank you, Mr. Selfwood. Isn't that your job? What, what? All right. Another round of applause for the five seniors from the Panther Marching Band. As a resident in the sideline, I'd like to also welcome here tonight to talk about the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Mrs. Fegley. She's the director of the Drama Club. Ms. Fegley. Hi, everybody. My name is Desiree Figley, and I am the new director of the drama program here at A.R. Shirley High School. Uh, we are so excited to be back on stage after three long years of COVID have forced us uh, to close. It's been dark in the theater, but it'll be bright next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Please come see The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It is a creepy comedy based on the famous story of the Headless Horseman and Ichabod Crane, featuring 11 ensemble members from all four years here. Uh, we would love to have you. Tickets are $10, general admission, $5 for all students with ID, Friday and Saturday at 7.30, and Sunday at 2. All right, now real quick before we head out, I'd just like to ask a few things too as well. Uh, just some follow up here. Do you have any plans for other future plays or, or musicals? That is an excellent question. We have just announced our spring musical actually. This spring uh, in April, we will be performing Rock of Ages, which is a musical made up entirely of 80s rock songs. So lots of things you know and love. Uh, gonna go for a real concert vibe with the students up there belting out your favorite 80s songs. All right, thank you very much for joining me up here tonight, Ms. Faley. Thank you. So come out to the play next week. That'll be a great treat. Legend of Super Hollow. Going right in with the Halloween theme next week. Thank you.
Brian Holmes at the kickoff as the Panthers receive to stop the game. Nice kick end over end, field at the 18 yard line. By Cole Patterson. And Patterson taken down. Kondwani Alderson, number 62, on the coverage on a great play, Kondwani. Special thanks, too, to the officiating staff for accommodating us tonight for the senior night. Thank you very much. Opening series for the third quarter. And it's a pitch out to Williams. And Williams goes out of bounds for a nice gain on first down. Williams steps out of bounds at the 46 yard line. First and 10, Murdoch. Give it to the outside and comes inside. Does Williams and he's taken down by a host of tacklers for the Panthers. Gain of seven on first down, so it'll be second down and three from the Panther 47 yard line. Inside handoff to Tenney, and Calvin takes it inside the 45 at the 44 yard line. Behind the quarterback, pitches it out to Williams. And Williams takes it to the far sideline. And he'll get a gain of one on first. Second down nine. Ball spotted inside the 45 at the 43 yard line. And it goes outside. Williams, the ball carrier. Taken down by Gabe DaCosta, number 51 from the Panthers. Third down and five from the 39 yard line. And balls on the ground. In the backfield, John Iacone. They're going to tackle, so brings up fourth down and one. Call a fourth and 12. Fourth and 12 from the 47 yard line. Got a good punt off. Takes a Murdoch roll, and it's going to be inside the 20-yard line at the 18. 
It'll be first and ten Panthers. So again, you heard from my halftime guest, Mrs. Fairley, that the legend of Sleepy Hollow, creepy comedy based on the famous story of the Hellless Horseman, November 4th and 5th at 7.30 p.m. and November 6th at 2 p.m. in the high school auditorium. General admission tickets are $10 and student tickets are five. Come out and enjoy. And now it's Panthers on first and 10, Gauntlet. And he's taken down. That's over the 20 yard line. In there was Alvin Pimentel for the tackle. Gain of three on first down. Be second down and seven at the 22 yard line. Let's go, Panthers! Let's go, Panthers! Let's go, Panthers! And it goes to Gauntlet again. And Gene drives it ahead up over the 25 to the 27 yard line where they knock him down. Third and short, third and one. On third and one, it's Gauntlet going through the middle, and he's taken down, a flag comes in, most likely a face mask. First down. Dylan Manette, number 77 at the bottom of the pile for the Blue Devils. Injured on the play. Give me a hand, folks. He's up. To give us on the left side, in the 24, Robbie Weeks. Sebastian Dion on the tackle, number four. Gets a big first down. Keeps the clock going at 6.23 left in the third quarter.
first and 10 from the 17 yard line of Murdoch. Garment. Luis Serrano on the tackle, number 68. Pick up of four, be second down and six. It's Holmes. And it'll be taken out at the far sideline. They'll keep the clock running with third down and three to go for the first. State tournament for football starts next week. Pairings official on Monday, 1031, which is Halloween. down as Marshall the ball carrier. And great stick that time by John Benazic. And the first down, Panthers. Taken by Coach Wright, and the Panthers are 351 left, third quarter. Tie score, six all. Reminder about the Veterans Program on Tuesday, the 24th annual Veterans Day program that happen here at Airshow Region High School. Sponsored by the Airshow Region High School Massachusetts Army National Guard Leadership Education Program. Happening on, on November 1st, this is this Tuesday, 7.20 to 8.25. It'll be the breakfast, and then followed afterwards by classroom presentations. Veterans will go into classrooms to share experiences, 8.30 to 9 o'clock, and then the assembly after school uh, afterwards at 9.15 to 10.35. So the assembly will follow the classroom presentation from 9.15 to 10.35. Thanks to all our veterans for all that you do and all you've done before. Thank you so much. And the catch in the end zone for the touchdown. Holmes to Marshall. Seven yard touchdown reception and injured player.
Injured players number eight, Cole Patterson. Jack Thomas to kick the extra point. The kick is up and it's good. Nice adjustment made by Cam Marshall on the high snap. 13-6, Panthers coming, that touchdown coming with 3.46 left, three, third quarter. Brian Holmes set the kick off from his 40 yard line. Fielded by Patterson at the 18 yard line. Trying to elude tackles and take him down out of bounds. Another special teams play by the Panthers, Kondrani Robinson. First down, Murdoch from the 22 yard line. To the right side, Williams, the ball carrier. Taking out at the 24 yard line. Gain of two on the play, be second down and eight. Again, it goes to Jay Williams. Flag on the play. And he won the tackle, Jack Janot, number 50. It's going to be against the Blue Devils. Spot foul, 10 yard penalty, replay, second down. Second down and 20. Guillaume back to pass. Throws. Nice area, but incomplete to Cole Patterson. And that stops the clock with 2.30 left, third quarter, 13 6, Panthers in front. Option. 
and the pass is complete. And a great pass. Number 32, Calvin Tenney to number eight, Cole Patterson. Huge chunk play by the Devils. And it's gonna be a first and 10 from their own 46 yard line, 47 yard line. First and 10 from the 47. Great penetration in the backfield by Janot, but he eludes the tackler and picks up the first down. So a great individual effort by Jay Williams, number 11, the running back for the Blue Devils, getting the first. First and 10 from the Panthers side of the field at the 42 yard line. Right over the center, great offensive line push. And on first down, they'll be down at the 41, at the 36 yard line. Six yard game, be second down and four. Second and four from the 36. And they give it to the fullback, Calvin Tenney. And defended well by the Panthers. No gain on the play, be third down and four. Third and four from the 36. And let's see what the infraction is. Sides against the defense. First down. Huge stick. That time. Fumble. Taken away. And it's Marshall. And he's going to go in for the touchdown. And they were all done by the tackling. Jack Durant and Jenna Coney in the backfield. Stripping the, stripping the ball.
The call him down the play, so it'll be second down and ten. Second down and ten. So on second and ten. Should be third down right now. So second down. The give us the Timmy. And again, great defense. And there was McGinley number 16 and also number 50, Jamat. Third down of five. And third and five from the 26. It is Williams. And it looks like it's enough for the force, and it is. So it'll be first and ten. Blue Devils. Spot inside the 20 at the 19 yard line. 11.07 remaining. Young hands off. Both hands on the ball and twisting and turning goes Tenney. Short handed ball carrier. Takes it for about four yards. It'll be second down and six.
They'll give them five on first down, so it'll be second down and five. Ball spotted inside the 15 at the 14 yard line. High stem, nice adjustment made by Williams. And Williams to the left side. Third and short coming up. Third and one from the 10. Just under 10 minutes left. Fourth quarter. Williams, the ball carrier. Williams on the direct snap, took it down to the five yard line. And that would be a first and goal to go for the Blue Devils. And as Guillaume comes back to the huddle. Second and goal from the seven is to Williams. And Williams, no sign yet from the official. Third down goal from the three yard line. Give us the Tenny, and he's in for the touchdown. 13-12, with 8.05 left, fourth quarter. Taken on the field by Coach Tansy and the Blue Devils. The extra point coming up or the two-point conversion. Let's see what they do. Stop by the Panthers. No good. 
The score remains 14 12 Panthers. Now the Pink Panther. kick, going for the onside kick, fielded by the Panthers. with a good field position at the 47-yard line. Okay. Give us the gauntlet on the left side. Takes it to midfield. Three yard gain the play will be second down and seven. Ball is probably right at midfield. Can <laughs> Marshall the ball throw has first down the yard is again. Has one tackle to the beat and brings it down to the 25 yard line. They're knocking inside the 25 at the 23. First and 10, Panthers. First and 10 from the Murdoch 23 yard. Marshall starts inside, breaks outside, and taken down close to the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven-yard gain to be second Let's down and three Panthers. for the Panthers. Second and three from the 17 yard line. They give us the gauntlet. And first play made in the backfield by Steve Gothier. And then cleaned up by number 54, Jeff Alasaskas. Loss of two in the play. Marshall, the ball carrier, takes it inside the 15. I'm walking down the 14 yard line. A fourth down and one yard to go for the first.
big fourth down coming up in the ball game. Kim Hosh with the ball carrier. And they're going to give him the first down. Great play on the left side by the Panthers. Injury timeout. First and ten Panthers from the 11 yard line. Marshall yeah. the ball carrier. And they play in the tackle by Calvin Tenney. Getting into the backfield, altering Marshall's path, so loss of two be second down, 12. Second down, 12 from the 13 yard line. Holmes throws, and it's complete over the middle, and a post pan. To Marshall, touchdown, Panthers. 14-yard touchdown reception from Holmes to Marshall. Jack Thomas had to kick the extra point. The kick is up and it's blocked. Good block by Murdoch. Keeps it to a one possession game, 19-12. With 3.35 left in the fourth quarter. Thank you, band. Let's go, Panthers! 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 Let's go, Tazen takes it over the 30 to the 31-yard line. First and 10, Murdoch. Let the teams go upfield. First and ten, it's Tenney. No gain on the play. Defense! 
Second down, 10. Williams on the outside and defend this side by the Panthers. Marshall is in there. Number 51 for the Panthers, Gabe DeCosta. No gain on second down either, so it's third down and 10. Now taken on the field by Coach Wright and the Panthers with 207 left, sporting a seven-point lead, 19-12. Third and ten. Guillaume is sacked in the backfield. Guillaume hey, Robinson on the sack for the Panthers. Coming off the left side. And as we're going to bring up a fourth down and ten. The fourth down and 20, excuse me, a loss of 10 yards on fourth. So a loss of 10 on third, it brings up fourth down and 20. Nice kick, high kick, and it takes a Murdoch roll, picked up by Holmes at his 49, and Holmes pressed the side, comes inside, and will finally be dragged down inside the 30 alley, and a flag comes out. Let's see what the flag is. Say that, guys, on the left side, please. Let's show some sportsmanship. Why you did 
Panthers take a knee, and now begin the ball game with the score 19-12, Panthers. will be recognizing the seniors on the football team at the conclusion of the game tonight. Remember that on your way out, we use the trash receptacles and throw out all your trash. Thank you very much. Right after they shake hands, we'll be doing the senior recognition for the 15 seniors on the football team under Coach Billy Wright. <laughs> 